once you have your paper mache done, you're ready for your cellu-clay. Cellu-clay is actually just ground up, recycled newspapers that has been mixed with the same glue we've been using the whole time. I'll go ahead and mix it for you, and it will be in the bucket that's labeled, keep the lid on. When you're, when you're ready to start with your cellular clay, the one thing you must always have with you is your source material. Because you're gonna be adding things like eyeballs, nostrils, ears, and it's hard to make your animal look realistic if you can't look back and see how that animal actually looks. So always, always have your source material with you. I've got my donkey, he's ready to go. Um, and I'm going to get a little bit of wet cellulose clay from the bucket. Once I get this, I'm gonna take a few minutes and softly knead it. I'm looking um, for bits of plastic that are inside that I can pull out and throw away. And I also wanna make sure it feels even. I'm not squeezing it really hard, and I'm not trying to really get rid of moisture. I'm just trying to make it feel even. Once I have it feeling pretty even, I'm gonna take a look at my source material and take a look at my armature, or my paper mache animal. And I'm gonna notice that the hip has a problem on this donkey. It's really high here, and it's really low here. So I'm gonna to need to build it up a little bit. Cellu clay is great for doing things like building up muscles, and also if you have any odd lumps or bumps on your animal, you can smooth those out now. So I'll take my cellu clay, and I'll put it on that part of the hip that doesn't match the other hip, that needs to be built up a little bit. I'll put it on and I'll pat it on gently. And to smooth it out, I can use a little bit more of that same glue we've been using and dab it right on the top. And I can use that as a smoothing compound. Once this cellu clay dries, it's gonna be hard, just like a rock. Look how hard this is. So I'm going to use a little bit of that um, glue we've already been using to smooth out the cellu clay. If that glue feels a little bit watery, you can use a little bit of the same glue uh, that comes from the black bucket. It's in its thickened form. No water has been added to it. You may also choose to use this as a smoothing compound on the top. You don't need a lot, and please don't, don't try to use the glue to fill in the clay to be absolutely smooth. The clay is gonna end up being a little bumpy. And it's okay if this is, dries a little bumpy because the next step after all of this will be adding white plaster and sanding it and getting it extremely smooth. So I'm gonna go ahead and build up the back hip of that donkey trying to make it match the other one. This is a great time also to think about putting a mouth, eyeballs and that sort of thing on your animal. If you have an animal with an open mouth, you will use this clay to, to build that open mouth. Here I can put the nose on my donkey, put a little bit of the wallpaper paste on to smooth it, compress it, so it's nice and uniform. Now I'm gonna look back at that source material and I'm gonna look at how the donkey's mouth works. Okay, I can see that I need a little line I'm gonna grab a little tiny bit of wire and make a tool for myself. All right, I'll bring my donkey back over here. And I know I've gotta create a mouth. When I create the mouth, I'm gonna look back at my source material to see how the mouth goes. And I'm gonna push in and create a little mouth profile. You guys go a little, make your, uh, eyeballs and mouths and that sort of stuff a little deeper and bigger than you think maybe they need to be just a little bit because once we add that white plaster it'll start to fill in a little bit and I don't want your little mouths and eyes to disappear entirely when you put the white plaster on so I'm gonna make it just a little bit deeper than I think it needs to be 
and smooth it, pinch it into shape. I can make nostrils on my donkey, always looking back at my source material. And you're gonna take this cellular clay, cellular clay, and you're gonna cover your whole entire animal with it until it's really, really solid. It'll take a, it'll take a couple days to completely dry. And when you're finished with your cellular clay after every period, if you have a little bit left, you'll just put it right back in the bucket. And if you have a little bit of this left, you'll just go put it back on the supply table. All right, and that is how to use your cellular clay.